problem with having a regular Minecraft base is that if you don't hide it well enough, people will always find it and steal from it. And I don't want that. So this pirate ship is the perfect solution because it can literally move like an actual boat. The first thing I need to build the pirate ship is some slime blocks. So it took me about 11 minutes to get this one slime block and I need 800. That's 146 hours of just gathering slime. I don't have that much time. If I don't want to take more than a month to build this pirate ship, I'm going to have to build three essential farms, starting with the slime farm. Okay, I promise this isn't hacks. This mod basically finds in-game structures, and off of those in-game structures finds the seed. Using the seed, I can find a slime chunk, and using that slime chunk, I can build a slime farm. And there we go. The seed was just found. Now I can take the seed, paste it into this website called Chunk Base, and find every single slime chunk on the server. So I found a slime chunk like right next to my base and apparently the first thing you need to do to build a slime farm is to dig out the entire chunk. Uh, uh, and done. Now that we have this giant room, I need to build a bunch of platforms for the slime to spawn on. Now that that's done, I can go ahead and start building the killing chamber. So this little area here is going to be the collection area where all the slime balls will go. These campfires are going to be what actually kills the slimes. This next part is a little confusing, so I'm going to try and explain it as best as I can. The farm itself is basically complete, but as of now, the slimes don't really have a reason to jump into the giant pit of fire. So what I need to do is I need to place down two iron golems. The slimes are going to try and attack the golems and in the process, fall into this pit. Out. What I'm about to do might be considered inhumane, but this is a sacrifice for the pirate ship. And I also gotta build this little prison for the second iron golem. And that's the slime farm complete, so now I just gotta AFK it for a little bit. And instead of taking me 146 hours to get all the slime, it only took me a couple hours of AFKing. So now that the slime farm is complete, I can start building the other two farms. Starting with the honey farm. The honey farm itself really isn't that expensive to build, the only annoying thing for it I have to get is eight beehives <gasps> I just gotta wait for the bees to go inside it stupid bees one down seven to go six so I wanted to show me gathering all the other beehives but after I got that last beehive all of the footage is just this what am I supposed to do with this anyway I got all the materials needed for the bee farm and made my way to the end the reason I'm building the bee farm in the end is because the end doesn't actually have a day and night cycle, meaning that the bees never go to sleep and work endlessly. What do you mean that's cruel and inhumane? Oh, oh my god, why bro? And that should be the honey farm complete. So now I'm just gonna AFK this farm for a little bit. It's way slower than the slime farm, but because I need less honey blocks than I needed slime blocks, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, it was really bad. I just need to show you this, okay? So I go into my replay folder and I scroll down and I see this replay. Eight hours and 27 minutes. I'm like, what the hell was I doing for eight hours? I open the replay and it's just me. AFKing at the honey farm. Like, I can skip to, like, uh, whatever this is. And I'm AFKing. I'm AFKing at the honey farm. Even though I only needed, like, 150 honey blocks, I spent eight whole hours AFKing this goddamn farm. Zero out of ten would not recommend building this farm. But it is finished, so I guess we can cross it off the list. Don't ask me how I got into this cave. And now, for the last and most impressive farm of them all, the cobblestone generator. So after crafting all the materials I need for the ship, I was ready to begin building. Five whole shulker boxes of materials for one redstone ship. While I'm looking for a nice place to build the ship, I feel like I should explain better why I chose to build this pirate ship instead of just like a, a secret base. So imagine this, right? I'm just chilling on my boat and I'm like, okay, I've had enough fun and I log out. And let's say some dude with full netherite pulls up. He's like, oh my God, I just found this massive ship. I need to go tell my friends. And he logs out. And then I log back in and I'm like, hmm. Oh, hmm. I feel like someone's found this ship. And I just click one button and then the ship goes away and then he the another guy logs back in he's like oh where the ship go and then he can't rob me he can't rob me this this guy's stupid this another guy is an idiot he can't even rob me yeah i drew this whole thing just to explain why i was building the ship and that's the story of how i'm never gonna get robbed the way the ship actually moves is by using flying machines so i'm gonna start out by building one of those 
So now that we built this, this big wall of slime will actually push the ship. Just activate. Okay, I'm just kidding. That, that's not how that works. The ship itself is powered by a lot of small little flying machines, starting with the tail of the ship. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. So the base of the ship is basically the thing that's gonna hold the entire deck of the ship, allowing it to move. Now that the base of the ship is complete, I can start building the underwater part of the deck, which is basically the engine. The problem is that building the entire underwater part of the ship is really difficult and confusing, so I'm gonna be using a mod called Lightmatica to help me build it. Okay, so now that I finished building this part of the boat, I actually need to drain out all of this water so I can build the engine itself. So I'm gonna need to raid an ocean monument. There we go. All right, now I just have to not die. There we go. Now I gotta drain this entire area inside of the ship. That just did not work. Alright, I've managed to get rid of a big chunk of all the water. The rest of the water should just be blocked off once I start building the engine. Now that this is all drained out, I can start building the engine of the ship. But before I do that, if you've been looking for an SMP to join with your friends, then look no further than the public Infuse SMP Minecraft server, which supports both Java and Bedrock. It has an extremely active community, really fun plugins and features, an extremely active staff team that you can ask for help at any time, and it's also a great way to meet your favorite Infuse members because we log onto the server all the time. So let's make a deal. If you enjoy playing on the server, you have to subscribe. Join discord.gg slash Infuse or click the link in the pinned comment to find the IP of the server. So while the ship is really cool, obviously I didn't come up with the design myself. The ship was designed by a guy named Mythical Pingu. On his channel, he posts some really cool redstone builds. So if you like the ship, you should definitely go subscribe to him. What the hell just moved? I'm so scared that if I place something wrong, the entire ship is just gonna move and break absolutely everything. As I build this engine, it just keeps getting more and more confusing. Like, what the hell is this quartz stair for? So I've just finished building the engine, and this is the node block that's gonna start the ship. I kinda wanna press it just to test if it works, but I also feel like that's a really, really bad idea. I think I'll just start building the deck for now. So now we have an actual deck that we can walk and stand on but we don't have a place to store any of our items. So as you can see at the back of the ship where there's no slabs or anything, I'm gonna build an extra room where we can put all our belongings. Uh-oh. Oh, bro, this is so annoying. Okay, I can finally start working on the little room. The ship is actually starting to come along really nicely. Look, now the little room has a roof. What the hell? Stop. 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 Stop! Okay, now we have a little room. Well, emphasis on little. Overall, the ship is really starting to come together. Like, if you look from the side, it's actually starting to look like, I mean, some kind of ship. So the bottom area of the ship is nearing completion, and we're about to start building the hulls. Uh. Are you... Bro. Oh my god. All of these blocks are misplaced, bro. Oh my god, are you serious? No, 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 bro. I'm not gonna lie, at this point I felt like completely giving up and abandoning this project. The only thing that really kept me going was the fact that I spent like hours building all of those farms and if I didn't finish the ship, that would have just all gone to waste. This is something straight from my nightmares. After some of the most painful hours of my life, I could finally continue progress on building the ship. I'm just hoping that something like that doesn't happen again. So now I'm beginning to build the sails of the ship. You know, the things with the skulls on them. I'm not a professional builder by any means, so I'm just kind of hoping they turn out good. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what this looks like, but I mean, it looks cool. We're definitely getting a lot closer to finishing the ship, so that's really good. I can't even imagine how much harder this would have been if I didn't have the Lightmatica mod. Okay, I just finished the skulls. I'm about to look at them for the first time. Ooh. Yes! Okay, yeah. That actually looks pretty sick. I'm pretty happy with that.
Oh, okay, I guess this was bound to happen at some point. Thankfully, there doesn't seem to be too much damage, so... This is starting to look really cool. Okay, I can tell we're in, like, the final levels of building the ship now. This looks so cool, bro. I can't wait for it to be done. Oh! Ooh, clutch. I am about to place the final block. Okay. This looks insanely cool oh my god bro look at that but we're not done yet because this pirate ship still needs two more things to be considered you know a pirate ship the first one being storage which is pretty easy to add now i can store all of my hidden valuables in these chests and the second thing is actually something that's already in the ship i just haven't tested it yet if you don't know what it is, you'll know in just a second. What kind of pirate ship doesn't have a cannon? This ship actually has multiple, and I'm about to test one of them. Okay, so apparently this is what you're supposed to do. Activate that. And then that should just... Okay. I guess not. I have no clue what broke, and I have no idea how to fix it. So I guess this ship will not have a cannon. Still gotta fix the ship, though. After three long, grueling hours, the ship was fixed, and it was finally time to show my teammates what I'd been working on. Okay, are you guys ready? A lot of rockets. Yeah. Can you put on your elytra, oh. Lucas? All right, let's go. All right. Where are you going? Come with you. Oh my god. Bro, right oh, now what? is a working Bro. pirate ship. There, this is where you can put your stuff. There's a little storage area right here. So, so come out here on the deck. I've spent a very long time building this ship. So I pray to God that it works. Dude, okay. This is crazy. Oh. Bro! It actually works! What? Let's go! Oh my god! Holy crap! What? We will never lose our valuables again! No way, dude. This ship works so good, bruh! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the video on screen right now. Go on. What are you waiting for? Click it!